All right, so if you are a mobile fingerprinting technician already, or you want to become one, or you have a storefront and you'd like to get another one, or you have none of the above and you just want to start fingerprinting in the first place, you need to listen to this process. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's a code that we cracked over six months ago. We're doing it with four successful partners right now. It's not against the Google guidelines and it's three steps right here. Very easy, very cheap. You no longer have to pay thousands of dollars a month for retail space. You can have one for under $400 a month and get slammed with sales because people are going to have a place to go and it's completely legal. Stick to the end. It's a crazy business model. We are live. A lot of coffee today. A lot, a lot of coffee. It's Monday morning. I'm amped up. I'm ready to go. I actually had coffee and a Red Bull, sugar-free, only 20 calories for the whole for the whole can. Let me turn my phone off real quick. See, I wasn't even prepared for this video. This is ridiculous. But there's so much value in this one because you don't even need to apply this to fingerprinting. You can apply this to any business where you take appointments or take people in physically at a location. And you don't have to pay thousands of dollars for real estate, especially after the pandemic. Nobody wants to pay that type of money per month. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So we're going to start off with the handy dandy digital whiteboard. I know everybody loves my writing. So what, 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 what are we talking about in this video? In this video, we're talking about how to take appointments at a location that is not your home, right? And not pay thousands of dollars a month for the space, right? And we do that, let me get rid of these notifications, sorry about that. We do that by leveraging virtual office space and it's not against the Google guidelines and I'll show you why it's not against Google guidelines. So here is the business model in a nutshell. So you would be getting a virtual business address, right? So let's say this is a building with a bunch of doors, right? Building with a bunch of doors, yada, yada, yada. I'm not gonna draw all these windows, but you get the picture, right? So this is a virtual office building. Now, what is a virtual office building? Well, I will tell you what a virtual office building is, right? So virtual office building is a spot where a company does uh, they do suite leasing. So suite leasing is like if you were to grab a 300 square foot, like little office space, where it's just you in a chair in there, right? They're not going to charge you thousands of dollars a month because it's honestly, it's, it's 300, you know, square foot of space, but just you in there, right? A lot of people like attorneys do this, um, and maybe like psychotherapists or people who are just starting their business do this. But the thing is, it is actual legitimate office space, right? But they brand it as virtual office space. And this is why nobody is doing this because people think, oh, virtual office, you can't attach that to a Google My Business. Incorrect. You can if you physically do have a location that is staffed during business hours. And I'll tell you exactly why you can do that and why it's not against Google's guidelines in a few minutes. But first I wanna get this down pat and explain it to you. So a virtual office building is a big commercial building that a company like da, uh, da Vinci Virtual or WeWork or Regis um, basically leases, right? So you have a person who owns the commercial space, right? You have a company like Regis go to that owner and say, listen, we are looking to sublet, sublease. We are looking to take floors three, four, five, and six of your commercial building and build individual offices inside of those floors. And inside every single individual office, we're gonna charge a small business owner approximately 300 to 500 max a month for a business space, right? Now, what they also do is they staff receptionists on every floor or every opening to that um, commercial building, right? So if you are Mr. Customer, right? and you walk into Joe's fingerprinting with the fingerprint card, right? And say, I need to get fingerprinted or they just need live scan or whatever they need, right? Joe is going to go on Google, 
right? He's going to use his little mobile phone right here to go on Google and he's going to search what, right? He's going to search what? Now I'm going to show you what he's going to search in a second. I'm going to get rid of the ugly digital whiteboard. He's going to search fingerprinting Manhattan. That's what Joe's going to search, right? So Joe will search fingerprinting Manhattan and look at this. New York fingerprints shows up first, right? Now, New York fingerprints owned by PrintScan. It does have a physical location. So I'm just going to use this for all intents and purposes. Let's say it's a virtual office, right? So it says here storefront. Okay. If somebody looks at another Google My Business listing, right? So let's say fingerprinting Danvers, Northeast and test centers, right? So let's say this was a virtual office just for all intents and purposes, right? Let's say this was a virtual office. Well, Google has this listing verified because they can physically take people into their office and service them for whatever service they're providing. Here would be fingerprinting, right? So the reason Google has not slapped this with a penalty is because although it's a virtual address, which this isn't, I'm just using it as an example, although it is a virtual address, they can still take people into their suite number, into their space, it's staffed during business hours, and they can perform the service and then send them on their way, right? So that's not against Google's guidelines. And nobody does this because everybody thinks virtual offices are, but they're not as long as you get the right one. You cannot get a PO box or a mailbox or just a, a professional address and get a Google My Business listing. They will slap you with the penalty. They will not verify it and you will be doomed forever and you do no business and fail, right? So what you need to do in order to even start this is just go on Google, type in virtual office near me, right? So I, I see a whole bunch of them here where, where I'm living right now. Um, for my business, I use, I don't use Regis. Oh my goodness, what do I use? Um, DaVinci Virtual. I use DaVinci Virtual. It's a, it's a company here in New York. And I have an actual suite. I have a business space there. I'm in my home right now, but I do have a business space where I can meet with clients. So therefore, Google has verified our business listing. So if we type in Bumpet Marketing Uniondale, uh, you, you'll see that this is a, uh, th this right here is a virtual address, right? We'll look at the building and we'll see that this building is a commercial building. Now the company Da Vinci Virtual rents out floors, I believe it's 18 and 19 of this building right here. This is where I go. This is my office where I go probably twice a week. So they rent floors 18 and 19 and they give me a virtual address and a business space where I can meet with clients. And that is why my Google My Business is verified and not hit with a penalty, right? So in order for you to do this, type in virtual office near me, you might get a company like Regis. Now Regis, if you wanna look for virtual office space, you need to do not the business address. That will get you a penalty because there is no physical suite number or location that they give you there. It's not just a virtual office either. It's going to have to be virtual office plus. Now, virtual office plus, what you get, use the business lounge network, daily use of meeting room, five days office or desk space per month, right? So you get five days per month for free. Well, not for free, you're paying monthly, but five days where you can go in there and meet with clients. It's not against the Google guidelines to do that, right? So you can just go on Regis, DaVinci Virtual, and any of these companies get what would be equivalent to the virtual office plus, right? So you do get a professional address. You do get a uh, receptionist staff there and you do get, um, you know, mail forwarding and everything. But most importantly, you have to have the ability to actually meet at a physical location. So with some type of desk space, right? And then once you do that, um, you can start taking appointments. Now I pulled up the Google guidelines to an address for Google My Business uh, location or a listing rather, right? Now it says here, use a precise accurate address and or service area to describe your business location. PO boxes or mailboxes located at remote locations are not acceptable, right? Duly noted, Google, duly noted, but we got one better for you, right? Now let's keep going down here. Suite numbers, floor numbers, building numbers, and so on may also be included. Jesus, I'm getting way too many notifications. Sorry, folks. Only include information like cross streets, landmarks, yada, 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 yada. If you must specify a mailbox or suite number, do it online too. 
yada, 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 yada. All right, here's where we get good. If your business rents a temporary virtual office at a different address from your primary business, don't create a page for that location. Businesses can't list a virtual office unless, right here, unless that office is staffed during business hours by your business staff. That staff being the receptionist that works for companies like DaVinci Virtual, Regis, yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the reason why they do it, I'm assuming, is they have to have live receptionists there so that people don't get slapped with Google penalties for Google My Business listings because Google My Business listings are the, dri the primary driver of all local businesses that take appointments or meet people inside of locations. If you don't have a Google My Business, you are failing and you should get one right away, even if it's gonna cost you 400 bucks a month for something like a virtual office plus right here. Um, it, it really is worth it. The, the amount of traffic that you could drive to an optimized Google My Business listing like this one here, you know, lots of reviews, plenty of pictures, everybody replies to the reviews, uh, clearly says it's a fingerprinting service. If you're looking to do a fingerprinting company, which is what my channel is about, um, is really what you need to do. So that is the process in a nutshell of how to leverage virtual offices with a legitimate office space, a Google My Business, and loads of appointments and loads of sales and much more traffic to your website and much more um, lead generation for your business and all these good things with under $500 worth a month worth of retail space that you can call your own. You can put little pictures of your family up there, all that good stuff. Now, if you like this video, don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. If you liked it, please comment, subscribe, do whatever it is you want to do. I'm also going to leave a link down below for an official free training on how to start a fingerprinting business, whether you want to start being a mobile fingerprinting technician, or if you want to start with something like this, or if you already have a storefront and you're looking to add fingerprinting as a service, an entire training, it's me, it's uh, across a PowerPoint. I go through like 30 slides of really juicy material, all for free. We don't charge anything. Um, there is a pitch at the end, but you know, we're, we're, I'm trying to make a living here. You know, I got to do what I got to do, but you don't have to buy anything. You take the information for free. You can leave right after that. It's up to you. You're, you're an adult. You're a free person. You can do what you want, but that is my offer. I will leave the link down below. <laughs> Um, like I said, a lot of coffee today, Monday morning. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.